Today we have some crazy episodes straight from the streets for you. We are about to get into those Irish mobsters explosive schemes and a botch escape attempt. Prepare to be blown away by the twisted story of the Irish Kinahan clan and their homie now Fall Fussy aka and how the Irish Kinahan clan attempted to free now Fall F with explosives. So gather your snacks, let us get this party started, but wait until we get into the nitty gritty details. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. We do not want you to miss out on anything from our crew. Believe me, you will not want to miss out on these wild crimes. Listen up, we've got mad viewers who ain't even subbed. We work so hard with so much love to create this dope content, and we're trying to keep it going. We need your help. Listen up. The word on the street is that those Irish Kinahan tried some messed up stuff to bust and are now fussy about getting out of jail. Can you believe it? They had the audacity to use explosives when he was being taken to court. Fortunately, their sorry assessment failed spectacularly. But you know what? The escape. The Irish government is not taking any chances. They have increased security to ensure that no one tries to free that man again. However, according to other reports, it was not to free him, but because he knew too much. Okay, let us get into this twisted story of Ridwan Taggy, the Netherlands' most infamous mafia boss, now falling Fassi, a real piece of work with ties to cartel boss Daniel Ken. For obvious reasons, this scumbag, also known as Mr. Couscous and Belly, has been buddy-buddying with Kinahan for nearly two decades, and let me tell you, this is not a friendly tea party. Fussy has established himself as a major player in the global drug trade, with connections stretching like a spider web across the United States, South America, and Africa. But C is not content with simply being a drug lord. Oh no, this guy made his way to Ireland and devised some nefarious plans. He is narcissistic, ruthless, unpredictable, and impulsive, with no apparent conscience. He directed vicious attacks on the rival Hutch gang, leaving a trail of blood in his wake. As if that were not enough, he had the audacity to arrange fake travel documents for Daniel and Christopher Kinahan, allowing those scumbags to avoid detection. But do you know what? The United States government is not taking this lightly. They've blacklisted Daniel and Christopher Kinahan, as well as their brother, Christian Jr., and placed a $15 million bounty on their heads. Those scumbags lead to Kinahan Organized Crime Group, also known as the Kinahan Cartel. This gang is a major Irish transnational organized crime syndicate, rumored to be the most powerful in Ireland and one of the most powerful organized crime groups in the world. They have dirty hands in a number of countries, including Ireland, the United Kingdom, Spain, and the United Arab Emirates. Christy Kinahan established this cesspool in the 1990s, but it is his eldest son, Daniel, who calls the shots and runs the family's criminal enterprise on a daily basis. These scumbags are expected to be worth a staggering sum of up to $1 billion. That is a lot of money, my friends. Since 2015, the Canahan cartel has been in a bloody feud with the Hutch gang. Let me tell you, it has been a bloodbath. There have been 18 deaths in the Sig River as of August of 2021. And guess what? Some of those murders were carried out by that multi-chinned fatso himself. Yeah, that scumbag has a taste for blood and is not afraid to get his hands dirty. But the good news is that justice has finally caught up with him. Fuzzy has been arrested in Hillland, where he faces charges of murder, conspiracy, and money laundering. Mr. Couscous, dubbed the notorious crime kingpin, it's a big fish in the global drug trade, but he is now locked up and hopefully will rot for a long time. That ruthless thug was nabbed in a fancy penthouse in Dublin. What do you think? Daniel Christopher Kinahan had been using that swanky spot as their private getaway whenever they sneaked back into their hometown. Daniel and Christopher had been close friends with Fatso for over 15 years and pulled some shady moves to smuggle him in. While hiding out there, this large thug who was also wanted in Spain for plotting to disrupt the arrival of the Kinahan cartel orchestrated a slew of attacks on the Hutch gang. When the Netherlands issued an arrest warrant for this 20 stone blob, he even supplied fake passports to his Kinahan associates. Yes, these Kinahan scumbags had his back. They owed him, you see. But you know what? For years, this monster eluded authorities all over Europe. He believed he was impenetrable. But guess what? The long arm of the law finally caught up to him, with the Irish police swooped in and arrested Fuzzy in that posh Dublin penthouse, thanks to their hard work. That is where the Kinahan brothers thought they were safe, but Justice had other plans. Fuzzy was extradited to Amsterdam to face the music thanks to the hard work of the guard under I, this 
thrissel facey operation and his criminal career ended when he was put on a strict prison diet eating only porridge as punishment for orchestrating a failed gangland assassination but believe me fuzzy's crimes were far from ordinary the guy was charged with murder conspiracy and money laundering and prosecutors were not shy about describing him as a mastermind behind a botched gangland hit on the target despite being shot 36 times in his car near amsterdam on november 16th peter petara miraculously survived can you believe it five men were convicted and sentenced to prison terms ranging from 17 to 20 years but prosecutors claimed that fasi was the mastermind behind it all they claimed he used code names such as belly tiger and tito during the operation and if that was not enough he was also charged with money laundering he paid the contract killers with 500 euro notes fasi's criminal activities in ireland extended far beyond orchestrating attacks on his rivals he also gave false passports to Kinahan gang members, assisting him in their illegal activities. His plans to elude justice were foiled, however, when Irish police raided his rented apartment, authorities seized a variety of items, including fake passports, designer watches worth up to $98,000, phones, memory sticks, $14,000 in cash, $330 in sterling, 880 trainers, and evidence linking him to criminal activity. Given the circumstances, Fuzzy's capture was a significant accomplishment for law enforcement. Multiple arrest warrants were issued for him, including charges related to a fight on a Dutch street, money laundering in the Netherlands, and money laundering related to the cash found in his Dublin apartment. Because of their failure to carry out the hit on Peter Rupp, those cops were drawn in his mess as well, and they're now investigating the December 2015 murder of Mohammad Riza Kalahi Samadi. They appear to be claiming that the Iranian government ordered the attack. Mohammad Reza Kalahai In 1858, Samadi was born in Iran. He was a member of the Mujahideen people of Iran. This individual was suspected of involvement in a bombing at the Islamic Republic Party headquarters in 1981. That nonsense killed more than 70 officials. But guess what? Kalahai did not get away with it. As previously stated, he was arrested on December 15, 2015. The Islamic Republic of Iran is suspected of being behind his murder in the Netherlands, according to reports. He dropped out of the Iranian University of Science and Technology, but he was working as an electrician for the IRP. However, the story does not end there. Look at this man. The Kinahan cartel was concerned that Fussy knew too much about their dirty operations, and the guard described him as relatively cooperative, so they allegedly devised this sick plan to eliminate him. First, they planned to stage a jail attack to ensure he required hospital treatment. Then they planned to ambush the prison van as it was transporting him. But guess what? When the authorities learned of their evil plan, Fuzzy was transferred to Port Louis prison. They did put him in segregation because they did not want to take any chances. He has a criminal record that includes the use of weapons, explosives, and similar items, as well as extortion, assault, and drugs. Can you believe that nonsense? Fuzzy was eventually sentenced to 18 years in prison for his role in the attempted murder of Peter Up in April of 2018. Sunday World According to the Sunday World, information from South America alerted Irish investigators to the Kinahan clan's potential liberation action. This incident exemplifies Fuzzy's close ties to the Irish Mafia and the lengths they were willing to go to protect their associates. The Irish Kinahan clan clearly sits at the top table of European organized crime. Multiple deaths and a wave of violence have resulted from their ongoing feud with the Hutch family. The arrests have now been made, and the subsequent attempt to liberation emphasizes the dangerous and far-reaching influence of these criminal organizations.